Hello, and welcome to this lesson on how to get started with PCmatic. Before we get started, just want to mention that we highly recommend that you uninstall any antivirus that you had installed previous to installing PCmatic. After installing and logging into PCmatic, the first thing we need to do is enable or make sure SuperShield is running on the computer. We do this by clicking on the PCmatic icon, clicking yes on the prompt to allow PCmatic to run or to open. Once PCmatic opens, we're gonna click on the SuperShield icon Click on not protected. And then click install to install SuperShield. Once we see the uninstall button pop up, we'll see a shield in the lower right corner. A yellow shield means SuperShield is updating. A red shield means something is wrong. And a green shield means that SuperShield is working like it's supposed to. We can click X to close the window. Super Shield is hidden by default. If you do not have the shield show up, we can do so by right clicking the taskbar, clicking taskbar settings, and then scrolling down to the notifications area. And we're gonna click select which icons appear on the taskbar. We're gonna locate the PCmatic Super Shield and toggle this to on if it's not on already. Once completed, you'll have a shield in the lower right corner so that you can always know that Super Shield is running on the computer. To get back to the initial screen, we just click My PCs. This area shows you the name of the computer that PCmatic is currently open on. This area shows you your account information. And this is the area if you had other computers on the account where they would show up. The options button if you should ever need to find the options for the scan is located here. We recommend leaving the scan options at their default positions. We click scan to initiate a scan. These options are available if you would like to skip a part of the scan by unchecking it. We recommend leaving them in their default positions. Once we're ready to move forward, we click continue. This is the scan results page. In order to go on with the cleaning part of the scan, we need to click next. Here are the cleaning options. We recommend leaving them at their default positions. To start the cleaning process, we click continue. When you see this page, that means the cleaning has been completed successfully. We recommend after you have run a successful scan and clean that you restart the computer and do another one immediately after. And that concludes our discussion for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.